What's going on guys? It's Jack coming at you with another custom Lego minifigure showcase and today we've got one that I'm really excited for. This is my vintage inspired custom Mandalorian showcase. These figures are from both season one and season two and uh, I'm really happy with these. These are probably my favorite like group of custom minifigures that I've ever done. I'm super excited to show you guys these. I've been working on them for a while and I just finished Cara Dune. She was the last one that I did. And uh, once I finished that, I was like, all right, I'm ready to make a video on these guys. But I've been working on them for a decent amount of time. A couple of these have been done for a few months now. From left to right, we've got IG-11, Cara Dune, Moff Gideon up in the back. Then we've got the Mandalorian himself, Din Djarin. Next to him is Baby Yoda or The Child, if you want to get specific with it. Then we've got Grief Karga from Season 2, Cobb Vanth from Season 2, and the Incinerator Trooper from the end of Season 1. So yeah guys, let's start out with the Mandalorian himself. So up first here is Din Djarin, otherwise known as the Mandalorian. And this is in his Beskar armor, which he got around uh, Episode 3 of Season 1. And I'm really happy with this guy, this is probably my favorite of these just for that silver paint uh, i think it looks really really cool i painted the helmet up there which you can see was a knockoff Django fett that i got the uh, old school version of Django fett and i got that custom used it as Django for a little while and then kind of felt it didn't belong on the shelf and uh, it was kind of like falsely showing that I had like a really cool rare minifigure, which I don't have. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make the Mandalorian with this. I painted the armor on his chest silver to match the helmet that I painted. The uh, back, I actually didn't paint the jetpack, but I mean, it's very uh, hard to notice really, unless you're looking at it up close. And then I painted the arms silver and same with the legs. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, the paint's a little chunky, a little clumpy in some areas, but what are you gonna do? I mean, it, it looks fine to me and I'm I'm happy with it. And at the end of the day, that's, that's really all that matters to me at least. And then for the gun, I just kinda put one of these clips into a, uh, like a cone piece and put it on an old blaster. I think it gets the job done, but you know, nothing too crazy. And he's got a small black cape which came with the uh, Mandalorian battle pack. I didn't want to use my gray cape from my official Mandalorian figure. So uh, yeah, that's that's the Mandalorian. Here is Baby Yoda or the child as Lucasfilm would really like you to call him, but uh, we all know no one does that. So uh, I didn't make this actually. I got it on uh, Instagram from a giveaway actually from an account named Ivy Uggle. Maybe it's Ivyuggle. I, uh, I've got no idea. Maybe there's a pretty obvious way to pronounce it and I'm just missing it. But uh, I got this from a giveaway. I don't remember what the uh, sculptor of this is because I know he didn't sculpt it. Um, it's the same base that uh, Michael MGF used for his Baby Yoda. But uh, I got this a few months ago and uh, I think it looks pretty good. It gets the job done very well and it, it looks classic enough to where I'm fine with just including it here and uh, having him with the rest of my classic Mando figures and uh, yeah I've got Mando holding him which you uh, probably noticed you know I think his size is good and I think he looks pretty pretty uh, pretty cool. Cara Dune the ex-rebel shock trooper um, this one, I, I mean, it's okay. It's not one of my favorites or anything, but I, I still think it works for what it is. I based the design of it off of SJ Bricks Customs version of her, but I, of course, made it in flesh as opposed to the yellow that he's selling his figure in. I might still cop that figure just to have a better torso, but I'm, I'm fine with how this looks. Uh, it's got the blue, you know, it's got some silver, some black on it. It looks fine to me. I'm I'm fine with it. You know, it's not my favorite or anything, but she's not my favorite character, and I didn't feel like putting a lot of effort into her. I just kind of wanted to have her done and have the uh, crew mostly complete. I'm still missing a uh, quill, which uh, I might make in the future, but uh, you know, he's not 
He's not here right now, of course. The face is just a Princess Leia face, and you can see it's a little dinged up. It was one that I had from my childhood, but I had it laying around, so I was like, ah, that works for me. And I painted uh, the little black dot under her eye, which is actually a tattoo of the Rebel uh, Alliance logo, but, uh, you know, I didn't paint that clearly, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy with this. I gave her a big gun. I think she works, and especially from a distance, she looks good. But up close, you can see those those details are not painted on there too well. And uh, if that really really bugs you, I'm sorry, but uh, I just don't care. So here we got Grief Karga from season two. Uh, I could have gone with the season one appearance, but the season two appearance is just way cooler, I think. And since it's uh, you know modern, it it works uh, better in my opinion. So he's got a red shirt with this like sort of black overlay. I don't really know like how that works. Star Wars clothing has always somewhat confused me. There's a uh, gold like chain link sort of Count Dooku style cape like thing. I don't know what you'd call that either. Just kind of the thing that holds the cape, I guess. And then that kind of continues down into like this black like overlay across his shirt. I don't, and it goes down into his pants. I don't really know what's going on with all that. I don't, it's no big deal, really. Uh, I painted red on this waist cape piece from uh, the original Clone Wars sets. Had an extra one of those and was pretty excited that I did because it worked pretty perfectly. I just painted red on it to match the shirt because his shirt does go down a bit in the actual show. And I think, uh, I think that looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. I painted some gold on this little belt and, you know, the gold up there. Like I said, the face... I'm really happy with he's got some wrinkles under the eyes he's got the white beard and i painted in the pupils this face was actually from a uh first order crew member from the original uh force awakens battle packs from january 2016 i believe so uh yeah i'm pretty happy with this one once again i think he looks really good uh one of my favorites here is cobb vanth one of my favorite characters from the whole show that episode with him was just one of the best uh, episodes of the whole series, I think. Probably the best. It was it was just awesome. Uh, this figure is really, really simple. I took a Boba Fett keychain that I had gotten without the uh, key, like, in it, without the actual chain in it. So I thought, you know, I might as well just use that because it's a very easy custom to make. You just swap out the arms and you swap out the legs. And I would have actually used brown there so it worked. And then couple of black legs, red arms, you know, pretty simple stuff. And then I painted the uh, little bandana thing down there. So that looks cool. Uh, I gave him a pistol, you know, nothing too crazy there. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this guy once again. Really cool character. Really uh, excited to see him again this season. Rounding out the good guys, here is IG-11. And this is barely even a custom. I just wanted to throw him in here. I just took an old IG-88 figure with the uh, two uh, kind of sideways hand holding hands like Battle Droids and uh, IG-88 used to have. And I took a couple Indiana Jones satchels and put it over. I mean, this satchel part down here doesn't really work, but the, um, I don't know what you would, what you would call that. But, you know, the straps going across his chest, I think, look pretty good. You know, just this is a really simple one. And pretty much nothing, but I eh, know I'm, ha I'm happy with it. I think it looks pretty cool. All right. Now getting into the villains here, we got the incinerator trooper from season one, episode eight. I love this figure. This is one of my favorites that maybe I've ever done. I think he looks really, really great. Um, for starters, he's got this big flame weapon, um, but I'm going to take that out of his hand. Oh, and there goes his hand. Yay, he's got his hand back. All right. So, uh, yeah, I painted red all over this figure, actually. I don't know why I did that, because it really isn't, like, what Lego would have probably done. But at the same time, I think it looks really cool. And maybe he'd be one of those one-off figures with printing, like Boba Fett from Cloud City or something. And I you gave him some red down here. I, this doesn't look great down here, but usually it's kind of covered up by that gun. So I'm fine with that. I think the arms actually look uh, really good. I'm happy with those. I painted on both of them. As you can see, the helmet is the coolest part here, I think. The helmet, I think, looks really great. Um, the line goes 
all the way across and even onto the back. One of the few figures I have you can just look at from the back. Uh, under, he's got a knockoff Robin face, I think, from Young Justice. And then uh, painted some red here and then the black over it, which is kind of like some straps to hold in the gun. And then he's got a pauldron. And uh, yeah, this one, I, I love this one. This is one of my favorite figures that I've ever done. Uh, probably my third favorite out of this showcase, though. And my second favorite is Moff Gideon himself, played excellently by Giancarlo Esposito, who I've been a fan of for a while due to Breaking Bad. I actually made this custom of him and did a showcase on him when I first came back to YouTube earlier this year. And as you can see, I took a much different approach with this figure, going for that classic old school style of uh, Lego Star Wars. I actually painted the head completely from scratch on this one, took the design based off of SJ Bricks Customs, and uh, I think uh, it looks really good. I'm, I'm super happy with this. Uh, the hair, you can see, it looks kind of weird from this angle. It looks sort of normal, but I actually did uh, erase it so that it was kind of flat and ma more matches his uh, actual hair in the show. I gave him a red and a black cape to have that double-sided cape going on. Um, you can see his torso down here. has uh, It's like a TIE fighter torso, and I painted the uh, belt lines red, like above it. It looks more accurate like that. I painted some silver here to have sort of his General Veers style of armor, and then he's got some red uh, buttons up here, I guess holding his cape once again. And then obviously he's got the dark saber, which uh, I took a katana, painted all around on that. And I, I'm, once again, I know I keep saying super happy and pretty cool, but uh, it's pretty cool and I'm super happy with it. So uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this showcase. Let's go into the final remarks. So yeah, guys, that about wraps up this showcase. Like I said earlier, this is probably my favorite group of custom minifigures that I've ever showcased on this channel. And this is how I have them displayed on the shelf. Just in case you're wondering, actually, usually I've got him up in the Death Star up there. But uh, yeah, this is, this is kind of how I like to have it. I like having these... Uh, I got four of these guys recently, the uh, printed leg stormtroopers from Imperial Inspection back in 2005, and I love having these guys in a prominent place on the shelf with uh, Moff Gideon himself controlling them and telling them what to do. We got a couple of the old stormtroopers back there. Then there's uh, some Tusken Raiders. I got the new one over there. I don't know. I'm going to keep him here for now, but you know, maybe one day he'll, he'll move to somewhere else. And then we got the good guys over here. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this section of the display. And if you're curious, here's what the rest is looking like right now. Um, but uh, I'll do a collection update at the end of the month because I actually have gotten quite a bit of stuff this month. So uh, yeah, that's, that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all that shit. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.